Here at the 10th annual meeting of the T-Cell Lymphoma Forum, I'm presenting my work on a phase one trial of combined oral 5-azocytidine and romadepsin for the treatment of patients with advanced lymphoid malignancies. The trial stems from the consideration that azocytidine and romadepsin are actually synergistic drugs, both in vitro and in preclinical models, uh, animal models. Uh, so on this basis, we launched a single center phase one trial of azocytidine and romadepsin. In the phase one trial proper, we en enrolled patients with all kinds of lymphoid malignancies. But then we opened a dose expansion cohort uh, dedicated to patients with peripheral T-cell lymphoma only. Uh, including both newly diagnosed and relapsed refractory patients. Concerning uh, patient characteristics, uh, among 33 patients, the median age was 54 years, a slight male predominance, and all lymphoma histologies were uh, represented, although 40% uh, of patients uh, had peripheral T-cell lymphoma, including the dose expansion cohort. Uh, these patients were heavily pretreated. The median uh, l uh, number of uh, prior therapies was five and up to 15. Uh, half and actually over half of the patients had had a stem cell transplantation uh, procedure. And uh, pretty much uh, all the patients on trial at one point or another received all the standard uh, traditional chemotherapy approaches that you would use in that particular uh, lymphoma subtype. The trial was a 3 plus 3 dose escalation classic design for a phase 1 study. Um, we started at azocytidine 100 milligrams um, our day for two weeks, combined with romadepsin administered on days 8 and 15 on a 21-day cycle. And then we gradually increased the dose intensity over seven subsequent cohorts, allowing for more time for recovery by prolonging the duration of the cycle at the same time. So um, in terms of uh, safety, uh, the treatment was really well tolerated. We encountered uh, some dose-limiting uh, toxicities early on which we felt were due to the uh, short duration of the cycle. So we revisited the schedule and instead of a 21 days, we started at 28 days um, going forward all the way uh, to up to cohort seven uh, where we used 35 days um, as a duration of the cycle. Um, so the maximum administered dose was at cohort seven where we encountered uh, three dose limiting toxicities. Most of them were uh, cytopenias, thrombocytopenia, neutropenia. In terms of grade one or two toxicities, the most common were nausea and vomiting, fatigue and diarrhea. Nausea and vomiting were really only a problem in the early part of the study. When we adjusted the anti-nausea prophylactic therapy, uh, nausea and vomiting were really no longer an issue. Um, so the uh, so-called MTD, maximum tolerated dose, was declared the one using cohort six, azocytidine 300 milligrams uh, for 14 days and romadepsin on days eight, 15, and 22 on a 30 day, uh, 35 day cycle. Um, so overall, the treatment was uh, relatively effective across all lymphoma subtypes. Um, the overall response rate was uh, 36% and 22% of the patients achieved a complete response. But what was striking in the trial uh, was the uh, pretty substantial difference in terms of response rate and complete response rate between patients with T-cell lymphoma or non-T-cell lymphoma. Among the uh, patients with T-cell lymphoma, the overall response rate was 80% and 50% of patients achieved a complete response. Conversely, in patients with non-T-cell lymphoma, about half of the patients uh, progress right during treatment. Um, if you look at the tumor burden reduction on the waterfall plot, uh, you can really appreciate how the responder population is enriched in T-cell lymphomas, and also how out of the four complete responders, three were, com were uh, T-cell lymphoma patients. So we feel that uh, this treatment is extremely effective for, for patients with uh, peripheral T-cell lymphomas. It offers a chance for a curative treatment such as stem cell transplantation. Uh, half of the T-cell lymphoma responders actually were bridged over to a stem cell transplant with curative intent. Uh, and is a safe treatment that can be uh, well tolerated at doses uh, that are relatively high for both azocytidine and romadepsin. Um, so we feel that this doublet could constitute a backbone um, on which to build uh, 
more effective treatments for patients with a relapse uh, refractory peripheral T-cell lymphoma uh, going forward.